Hey y'all, I am back on rant number two. Okay guys, in my last video, I started talking to you about um, something that happened here in my town. Um, and m m me talking about it is just me just bringing light of to things that our children do and they're not thinking about what they're doing. They kind of think about it, but it's like there's nothing that comes upon them, comes to their head that tell, oh, you know what, I'm not going to say that because it it could be something telling them don't do it and they just don't listen and they do it anyway. Okay, so what I'm talking about is last week, um, two boys, um, shot and killed a one-year-old little boy, okay, um, one is 15, and the other one is 17. And that's their picture, y'all. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Now, the little boy, Pothe, Lord Jesus, help his mama. Because the mother got shot, um, but she didn't, she didn't die. But the little baby, he did. They shot him in his face. Okay. Um, this is the little baby. Y'all looking at what I'm looking at? Mm. But anyway... Now, I've showed you the picture of the accused and the picture of the victim. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of the, the mother and the aunt. Okay. You see that? Now, how they get involved is because... They say they lied to police and they tried to dispose of the gun that they knew this young man just used to kill a little baby. Mm. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Y'all, I got to repent. Because I the last video I was saying some bad words. And now in this one I'm calling on the name of Jesus. I'm wrong on both. I'm wrong on so many levels, y'all. Lord, forgive me. I'm going to admit that. That is my sin. I'm going to admit that. Forgive me, Lord. Sometimes I let my mouth get the best of me, just like anybody else, y'all. But thank you, Lord. And I ain't going to say he know my heart because it's a choice. Okay. So... I choose I chose to fall short at that moment. So I don't need nobody to tell me I was wrong. I already know. Lord, I ask you to forgive me once again. And once I ask him, I just have to remember not to do it again. Okay? Cuz I, I know it's wrong. But anyway, back to the subject. This is prime example of what I'm talking about. No matter how frustrated and angry I was with my daughter for doing that. Because me, I have seen so many instances of children going to parties and parties going wrong. Just last month at my husband's job, they had a Sweet 16 party for his cousin's daughter. Now, she put it on the internet for people to come to the party. Okay. The party was nice. And I did a video at the party. Y'all. Some people that don't even know her. People were coming in the party that were in the hotel. Or from off the street anywhere. Because she did put it on the internet. After that party let out. Do y'all know that parking lot looked like World War whatever. 
these youngsters was fighting. I mean, fight like they was fighting for their life, y'all. It was, I mean, those the ones need to be over there fighting for the country because they gonna go down. They ain't gonna stop till somebody go down, y'all. They knocked this young man out. I mean, out. It was sad. I was scared. I can literally say because I didn't know. You couldn't say nothing to him. You couldn't break him up. You couldn't do nothing. It was just like they were glued together by a giant magnet. And nobody could stop, could break them up and stop them from doing nothing. They were just fighting. So I know what it's like to have kids to um, go to a party. And you just got, you only need one person that don't have common sense to do something stupid. Just one. Say something out of the way and everybody else been out of shape. Then these niggas, they feel like, okay, in order to redeem myself because this dude done pissed me off, I got to pull out a gun and bust somebody's head open. Okay? Damn. You just gave Janae your charger. I ain't gave her nothing. She told me you say she could use it. I told her I ain't had no charger. I ain't know I had Yeah, it. you have a charger. That's the one I been had plugged up by the dresser. But that's all it takes is for one person. It don't matter how old. Because we got them young and dumb and old and dumb. To just make a mistake like that. And I look at these children. And this is why other races don't trust our color. Because they feel, already feel like we're a threat. Like we don't belong here like we only troublemakers that we don't have common sense that we just wild and crazy and just cannot be trusted other races do and say that and they do feel that way and you know they treat us like that here it is two young black boys hadn't even reached 18 yet has messed their life up for what I think they say the mama owed them some money or they was trying to rob her. Whatever the case may have been. What did this one year old innocent child do to you? The woman, even if she did owe you some money, what were you doing that she owed you some money? Yeah. You were wrong then too. And it's sad that they actually shot and killed this little baby. And I'm not going to even comment on the mama and the sister. I'm going to even keep my mouth closed on that one. Because whatever they reason, and they probably thought they were helping their son. So that they, they knew he was guilty and they wanted to help him. And, um. They just was thinking, you know, that they're going to help. That they're going to protect him. Because they didn't want their child to be going away for the rest of their life. Mama wasn't thinking right. She just was thinking about, no, I need to help my son. That's all she was thinking about. That I'm speaking from my point of view. I don't know if that's what she was really thinking. But from a mother's point of view. What you looking for? I hung some of your work shirts right there in the left corner. Your your um black work pants up there on the top shelf. I hung them up in the closet. All your stuff is up there and I hung all your shirts back up. So y'all we have had that go on here, and I'm pretty sure it's gone on in other states where young kids are just going out and just taking lives, y'all. And people think that the music that these kids listen to and all of that don't play a part in that. Yes, it do. Because if you constantly listening to that, somebody say pop them in the head and shoot them and do this and call women B's and H's and all of this old kind of stuff, what else are you supposed to learn? When the majority of the world is doing negative and you got two or three people over here trying to tell you positive, what you think you're going to do?
Because all the negative stuff seems to be fun and have you hyped up and feeling empowered and strong and like you, can, you can't be defeated. Yeah. Listen to that music one day and sit on it and make you hyped up. It do. Drive your car and sit on it and make you hit the gas pedal a little faster, a little harder. It do. It don't it don't give you nothing positive to say out your mouth. It don't give you nothing positive to think about when you got the music constantly calling women out their name or talking about shooting and all that kind of stuff. You know, some of the rap music I like the I like the beats to them. Some of the words make me cringe, you know, but they call it freedom of speech. At some point in life, we used to, it was certain things that they did not allow on the radio. They did not allow on TV. Now they're talking about a wreck, um, um, go ahead. They talking about um, they talk about male and female problems, and children are not dumb. They know what they're talking about. So there's nothing that can leave to the imagination. Nothing for young kids to um, look forward to in life. It don't matter whether you shelter your kids. You would have to not let your children go on the internet. You would have to not let your children watch television you you couldn't buy them no video game if you did what you gonna buy them? all you gonna be able to buy them is like um cinderella and um mickey mouse um yo gabba gabba that kind of stuff you can't buy them nothing else because grand theft auto is just like real life they curse they have sex they shoot each other all oh, they steal all of that old stuff they do it all and I was sitting here one day and I just knew it was a movie playing. And I was like, my son, my older son had it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Did that did I just hear her say, uh oh, What was she doing? Get it, Daddy. And I was like, kiss my work. What? Oh, uh, if you don't turn that off. That's nasty. You ain't never heard that? Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. Take her in behind the building and, and they go in the house, y'all. And that <laughs> it's a whole scenario of just like real life situations. But I mean, if you even if it's like real life situations, it's teaching somebody if they ever in that situation the wrong thing to do. Not the right thing, it's teaching them the wrong thing to do. I can see if they had a version. A clean version that if the woman, if she on the corner selling her stuff, somebody come up to her and try to be positive and teach her, you know, there's another alternative to making money than that without degrading her. Or um, somebody going up to her and say, you know, you're such a beautiful woman. Any man would love to be your partner without you having to do that and to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I'm living in La La Land. But I feel like it should be an alternative. You should you should show both sides and not just one. Um, and you and you know people can say, okay, it's up to the parent. You right, it's up to the parents what they buy their children. But when your children are not home, when they at school, um, when they're outside playing with their friends. Everybody don't teach their children the same thing you do. They don't teach them how to speak the same way you do. They don't teach them that there's certain things you don't do to people. They don't. Because some people could care less as long as you leave me alone. You just get to getting. And it's hard. It really is hard. It's hard. Um, I hate it for my children. And I know they have to learn how to read. But I hate it for them to learn, my little ones to learn how to read. Because... At any given moment, we could be out anywhere and they look in a magazine or something and see something. They that's how they learn what certain things are. By reading. Sounding out the letters. Or they ask mommy, mommy, what is that? That's a grown-up word. That's a grown-up word. That's a word that only grown-ups use. Well, what is the word? 
and then you tell them and then you have to explain what sex is all about to a six year old or an eight year old or a four year old because you got some four year olds that are so inquisitive they make your head spin they'll ask you a million and one questions on top of a million and one questions and they want every one of them answered and who do you want to give them information the world or do you want to give it to them the right way so it's just so much stuff going on y'all that just that situation with my daughter tonight was wrong I don't know how long I'm going to make her behind stay on a punishment. But I told her don't ask me for nothing. And because, it, you know, it just scared me because I think about that's all it took. And then when I get around and I see that it's pitch black, there ain't no way you could have saw when nothing was coming and where it was coming from. I mean, not a street light, not a light on out because the park is closed. Why would you have lights on at that part of the park when there's nobody supposed to be there? So I don't know. <laughs> and then the park is on this side of the street. Across the street is a row of houses. People live there. So you out there in your car, you got the music blasting. You're disturbing the peace. It's eleven thirty, almost twelve o'clock at night. People are going to bed because they got some people still have to get up and go to work. Some people still, you know, people need their rest. Some people want to be in their house just relaxing. They don't want to have to look out their window and see 4,000 little rug rats running around partying with their booty all out. Breast all out. Little girls get dropping it like it's hot, giving lap dances and all kind of stuff. When they start doing that at parties, young girls giving lap dances. This dude, Wee Wee, just got hard in his pants and you sitting on his lap and I know you feel that on your butt. But yet you steady grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. That, you know that dude came in his clothes. You know he did. If it, if you see the booty on some of these young girls and they, they twerking and doing this and doing that and I was like, oh my gosh, I was shamed. If I if if my face had been white, I'd have been green. Okay, it's a shame. It's a shame. I know back in the day, y'all, when we used to go like skating and all that, we were grown. We were fast as fast behind us too. But as far the furthest we went was when you be kissing on somebody and you in the corner grinding on the wall. That's kind of the same like a lap dance, but you ain't sitting in a dude lap. Do you get me? It's eight dudes lined up sitting in chairs and each one of the girls is going to each one of them just grinding on them till the song change. They playing musical lap dance. Like musical chairs. Musical lap dance. And I guarantee you they ain't know all of them. I guarantee you that. But you think I want a dude to walk up to me and say, Hey, didn't I see you at that party when you sit in my lap? No. Mm -mm. I'd have been like, No, no, you ain't saw me. I ain't never want that kind of reputation. But you know what? People don't care no more, y'all. They just don't care. They don't care nothing about themselves as long as they get money. As long as they get their hair done, their nails done, and they clothes the way they want it, that's all they're concerned about. They don't even care if they got a third grade education. They don't. They don't care if they can't read See Sam Run. But I can twerk it. But I can braid my hair. But I can go out and buy me some nails and put me some face. Okay, yeah, let me ask you this. Who does that? Who buy eye contact lenses at the uh, hair store? And put them in your eye. Don't y'all know that's some. Uh, setting you up to be blind as a bat. Y'all I don't know. I want contact lenses. I like. I want my eyes to change. But you know what. If I ain't got the money to go get them out of the store. I don't need them. I, um, I, don't, I don't need them. Mm -mm, I don't, mm -mm, bad enough I wear glasses you think I want to be right there and then something get up under that contact and have your eyeball itching and I see my two two kids both of my kids wear contacts 
and how they be you can't even have nothing on your hand and mess around and rub your eye or you be outside and the wind blowing and a little piece of sand get up on y'all y'all can have that just for some cause I'll be some eyeglass wearing somebody's mm. mm -mm. y'all I just can't do it I just can't do it I just can't do it somebody pissed me off yesterday at a um at the Easter egg hunt and it happened so fast I don't know what I'm going through but it's like it just got to my nerve like that and I was I was this close from cussing them smooth out but um, I had to remember I was in a public place and there was a lot of older people and I'm gonna respect myself myself I ain't worrying about no, I'm gonna respect myself not to do that and then my little children and my older children were there and I'm like okay Teresa pull it together just, just pull it together hold it First thing I did, you know, I got up. I called my husband. I said, baby, check this out. And I told him, I said, you know what? I said, and then the person that said it to me said something to me like I was wrong for what I said. And I'm like, but you sitting there picking your nose at the table. You know what I'm saying? You got not with tissue on your hand. You sitting there picking your nose at the table while people eating. But you going to tell me I'm wrong about something. Really? I mean, finger all up like this. You talking to them like this. And I'm like, get your life. For real. It's called table etiquette one on one. Okay. Y'all. I'm a firm believer. The more I go through stuff, the more I believe. Some things is just not meant for us to understand. Because there's some things I just don't understand, y'all. Maybe I'm slim slow. I don't know. But some things I just don't understand. I don't understand why common sense is like um, dinosaurs extinct. Baby, get ready to go to sleep. Mm. <sighs> Y'all, I got so much on my mind I want to talk about. But. It make me want to um, pull out my Bible for real. <laughs> you ain't got no choice. I got to buy me another Bible because my children throw mine away. With my, left my boxes over there. But um, it don't stop me from listening at T.D. Jakes, Joyce Meyer, and Creflo Dollar. In the mornings, you need that. My husband got to go to work in the morning. So, of course, I won't be in church tomorrow, but I do know I can honor my Lord and Savior with giving him some time in prayer, asking for forgiveness of my sins, and trying to do better, asking the Lord to give me strength and continue to guide me to, for me to be better. Mm-hmm. Baby, that really don't sound good. That sound like somebody doing something. <laughs> Ooh. This dummy just shot an automatic gun. He don't even know how to hold it right. And he ain't got on no pants. How you rob somebody with no pants on? Yeah. Hey, this, that, tell me that. You got on your drawers and a shirt, but you robbing somebody with an Uzi. You got an Uzi in your hand, a t-shirt, and some drawers, but you trying to rob somebody. Now, that's one of them things. Common sense just went out the window. 
What you need some pants? Is that it? <laughs> I'm saying the man, do he really need some pants that bad? He gonna rob somebody. He don't even have on no pants. Yo, it's one of them weeks, yo, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, y'all, that's the end of my little rant on that subject. So, I'm going to get on out of here. I don't even know how long this video is, but thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. Bye, sugar.